Hi guys, um, Tracy here. Right, today I'm going to be making the hash browns that go in the McRobertson's Patties um, breakfast uh, muffins. Um, it's a simple recipe. I'm just going to show you what it is quickly here. It's basically three ingredients um, that I'm using um, with salt, pepper, olive oil, or slump, fry light olive oil, should I say. Um, and this is it. It's a simple one. It is potatoes, carrots and onion I've already chopped up because it doesn't want to go through my grater properly but because I'm doing quite a lot I've got myself one of these these little grater things um, it saves so much time than doing it by hand but it wouldn't take you very long to do it by by hand getting a little bit of body magic in as well um, but yeah, I'm going to just grate all mine with this. Put potato in so you can quickly see how quick these go in. Move that across a little bit. There we go. And there we go. And that goes in. You have to press down a little bit, but that's basically it. Oh, and also I do I do forget one other item, an egg. You'll need an egg, maybe one and a half eggs to bind it all together. Um, right, guys. Um, as you can see here, I have got quite a lot of mixture, and all that's in here is um, grated potato, grated carrots and a sliced up onion because the onion wouldn't go through the machine very well. Um, this machine here is a Morphe Richards grater, slice the dicer thing. Right, a simple um, thing that I do, it's, it's easy to move things from one place to another. Um, I've got my baking tray here which has got greaseproof paper on and fry light. I've also got a little piece of parchment paper here that's got a little bit of fry light on. So that when I do my moulds, I can literally put it on there, onto that, oops, yeah, there we go, onto this here like that, and um, I will then be able to put all my ingredients into there. Um, I've got my two eggs here. I'm going to use two because it's quite a lot of mixture. Might even need a third egg, I'm not too sure yet, I'm just going to play by feel to be fair I mean it doesn't matter if the wet mixture is quite wet it's just got to hold it all together because there's no coating on this the uh, potato and that's itself yeah I think I'm going to add one more egg always crack an egg into an extra bowl um, check that it's fresh nothing worse than spending ages doing your recipe and finding you've got a bad egg there we go that should be more than enough now I'm making quite a big batch that's better I'm making as I say I'm making quite a big batch of this because my family loves this and we've got friends over the weekend and I'm going to be doing that. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take roughly around about a big tablespoon, um, if not, and pop it in here. Push it down. Maybe a little bit more. Push it down there. So it's a sort of circle like that. Move that. Job done. And then lift it up and turn it there. It will hold its place um, on the tray. Again, what I might actually do is use one of my cups to press down so that it holds its shape. There we go. It's pressed down like that 
move that off there and then just pop it onto the tray like that and I'll probably have to reshape it but um, it'll be fine once I get round to doing it I will come back in a little while and show you them as they've, after they've cooked right as you can see they're here on the tray I've got loads of mixture left so I'm going to keep going on with this and making up some more hash browns what I also might do is make a, a big rush to, put, to go on um, this evening's meal. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but um, it'll have this, obviously some of this. Um, I cook these for 20 minutes. I'm going to spray them on the top. Pop them in the oven for 20 minutes one side. Spray them again and flip them over for another 15 to 20 minutes at, at 200 degrees in the oven. Um, and then they should be nicely cooked all the way through. They are slightly thicker than the last lot, so maybe um, uh, they might take a little bit longer to cook, but just check them and see how you go. Um, oven temperatures vary and so on. So that is today's recipe. Hash browns to go on your um, breakfast, to go on your burgers, to go with anything you want really. Um, so there you go. Hash browns done with uh, carrots, potatoes, onions, salt, pepper, and um, an egg or two to bind. See you soon.